Now, Governor, when you take a look at inflation, it's at the highest in at least five years. How concerned are you about it? Inflation is our primary mandate. So I have to be very, to be very concerned about these kinds of uh, developments. You know, the April figure that just came out, it is within our forecast for the month, but it is at the high end of our forecast range. Uh, for this year, we're really seeing a step up in inflation. It probably hasn't peaked yet. Uh, I had earlier mentioned that it may peak around middle of the year before we see a tapering of it or a deceleration of inflation back to our target range uh, by, us by next year. You've talked about how it has spread to the wider economy. What observations have you made? In what way has it spread to the wider economy? For example, the number of commodities that are uh, growing faster than the average is one indicator that we are looking at. You know, the, the, the driver of uh, the spike in inflation currently is really coming from, uh, for example, rice uh, prices, which is an important part of our consumer basket. And uh, clearly, uh, that has, a, has origins in supply-side shocks. Uh, the second round is really a matter of perception, how people process these uh, developments and whether it factors in and then drives, for example, their uh, expectations for wage hikes and transfer fare hikes, etc. And speaking about rate hikes, some people in the market are saying that you're sounding more hawkish, that you could possibly be signaling a move come May 10th. Are you a step closer? The BSP is data-driven, and the data tells us that we are at a higher plane of inflation than it was before. So necessarily, uh, we have to uh, reformulate how we look at this data, uh, at the uh, policy on the basis of the fresh information. Could there be successive hikes the rest of the year? Is there anticipation of that? Well, um, again, that will have to be data-driven. Uh, we will need to assess. So, okay, assuming a scenario where uh, the decision is to, to hike policy rates at the next review, you know, the data will continue to come in. We have to assess whether there is momentum, whether uh, there is uh, propagation, and whether there is a shift, continuing shift in inflation. At the end of the day, our um, objective here is to, to hit our target. Our commitment is to be at the target range. And I think our comfort will not be at the top end of the target range but rather to be, at the very least, well in the middle of our target range. So far, based on our updated uh, inflation forecast, we'll be, we, that is within reach by next year. So there is no risk or concern that you could be behind the curve because some people are already suggesting that you could be? In, you know, um, I have, uh, I'm on record as saying that the sum of our actions was appropriate at the time. Uh, Governor, what do you make of the level of the peso right now and how much intervention has been done? Well, uh, you know, the, the BSP uh, is actually very light touch <laughs> in terms of the exchange rate. Again, we have clarified that uh, the peso is uh, market determined and we basically react to manage excess volatility in the short run.